you guys are making a significant investment in Brownsville, Texas. What what caused you to invest there, and what are some of the strategic benefits of that geography, particularly? Uh, that, I think that's a really good question. First of all, we're what we're investing in is we're investing 18.4 billion dollars in our phase one of our uh, Rio Grande LNG facility. And it's the largest uh, private investment in a greenfield energy project in U.S. history. So, and that's just for phase one. Phase two will be down the road. Uh, why we chose Brownsville is, it, it's number one, it's a strategically located uh, uh, area. We have a deep water port. We have easy access to the Gulf of Mexico and to world markets. We also have easy access to gas supply out of the Permian Basin and out of the Eagleford Shale. So we're not constrained, as some of the plants are in Louisiana, of getting their gas supply. So that is, uh, I think, a couple of the reasons why. But then also the workforce. You know, there's a lot of people that really want jobs in, uh, in the Rio Grande Valley. And when I talk to people, uh, I was talking to some bankers a couple of weeks ago, and they said, what is your the, the most consistent issue you hear about? And I said, I'm not trying to be facetious. You know, it, clearly the environment is a, is a big issue. Making sure we're managing that is, is important. But the most significant issue I hear about is where are the jobs and when are they starting? And I think if you look at uh, the Rio Grande Valley, it has the highest unemployment rate in Texas. But what's even, I think, more concerning is that it has one of the higher underemployment rates in not only the, the state of Texas, but in the United States. So where people have to have two or three jobs just to make ends meet. Our facility during construction, uh, it will have a peak workforce of 5,000 people. And during operations, which will go on for 40, 50, 60, 75 years, it'll be roughly 350 to 400 long-term, well-paying jobs. That's incredible. 